everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's me Zoe, and in today's video we're doing a review of the Fun Fair collection, which is the SAS exclusive collection from Matthew Butterix this year, um, this summer. Um, and yeah, I have all the pieces for it, except for the Cotton Candy Clouds, um, tripecta, but I'm not going to be purchasing more Cotton Candy Clouds because I currently am using up Cotton Candy Clouds. I have an extra mist, and I have the whipped berry meringue full set so i'm good on cotton candy clouds scents so yeah but i have everything else i have the orange vanilla twist bubblegum pop and the cinnamon sugar donut so yeah and i'm filming this on wednesday the 6th and tomorrow the 7th i'll be going to bath my works again um to do my last sem semi-annual sale shopping so see if i can find anything else i wanted that's on my list <clears throat> So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start out with like everybody's favorite, which is kind of over here, um, is this one. This is Bubblegum Pop. So here they are. It's the packaging, it's pink, and has light pink and has actual gumballs on the packaging. So the notes of this one are gumball sugar, candied fruits, and citrus burst. I hope you guys can't hear the air conditioner, but if I don't have it on, my room's going to turn into an oven so yeah anyways this is what the shower gel looks like and typically the shower gel mist and lotion um looks a little different and just so this collection like everybody else has said um there's nothing has a complete collection except for cotton candy clouds and there's no body creams so yeah in my opinion the shower gel smells like bubble gum completely a very fruity bubble gum scent and i really do like it Smells really nice. Um, definitely more juvenile than other Bath and Wonders fragrances, although it is not like only five year olds can use. I think anybody can use a fragrance, but it's just less sophisticated, I would say, than other scents. So that is the shower gel for that part. Now let's get the fine fragrance mist. So I have, I actually have two of these sort of fine fragrance mist. So here's the fine fragrance mist. Most people have been saying that it is super light and doesn't last very long. Again, the notes are gumball sugar, candy fruits, and citrus burst. So out of the cap, you definitely get that like powdery gumball scent. I'm going to test it on my arm here. So on my arm, it does smell like gumball, but more like a lemon gumball. It definitely has that citrus smell. So it still smells like um, bubble gum, but smells more like a lemon bubble gum instead of like a pink bubble gum on my arm. So that is the review for the Bubblegum Pop set. I'm very happy with that one. I like it more than I thought I would. I actually wasn't going to purchase it at first, which is crazy, but yeah. So next we have the Orange Vanilla Twist set, and this came in the Fine Fragrance Mist and the lotion here. Um, so yeah, it's like an actual orange and vanilla twist ice cream with like a waffle cone looking background or something like that. Um, the notes are Juicy Orange, Summer sher Sherbet, and Vanilla Creme. So, in the mist out of the bottle, it definitely smells mostly like vanilla with a very, very small hint of citrus. But sprayed on my hand, I definitely get more of the citrus, and it's more like a citrus sugar scent, the base of vanilla. So it's more like citrus sugar on my arm, you know, like sugary vanilla, so it's probably more like the sugary vanilla with the citrus on my arm on um, clothes as well. Then we have the body lotion, of course. Again, the notes are Juicy Orange, Summer Sherbet, and Vanilla Creme. I'm sorry for the lighting and background for today. I just redid my room and I'm still trying to figure out what a good um, lighting spot is and it's a whole thing. But yeah, let's smell this. In my opinion, the lotion has more of that vanilla base and less of the citrus. Smell. Yeah, the juicy orange and the sherbet, but yeah. So in the lotion, it definitely smells more like ice cream, orange ice cream. And in the mist, it definitely is more toned down with more citrus smell. So I really do like that. And I did not get backups of either of those scents or either of those pieces. And then, then we have the cinnamon donut swirl collection. The notes are sweet cinnamon, brown sugar, and fluffy dough. I did get a backup of both of the pieces just because I love gourmand scents and if I end up not wanting both of them 
I can give them away later. And I plan on pairing this with my Ice and Rolls Mini Mist from last SAS. So, yeah. In the shower gel, you're definitely hit with that butter note, like a buttery dough, and probably like a cinnamon sugar crumble where there is like you're mixing in butter to that. Definitely has a buttery note <laughs> for sure. And this one you do smell a hint of like a cinnamon sugar smell. And although it does have that like um, sugary, very, very, very slight cinnamon butter note, um, you do smell a hint of that like off like this weird fruity note that most people are saying it does have and I feel like honestly they took raspberry jam donut and stuck a bunch of like butter and sugar like fragrance oil on top of it and it was called it cinnamon sugar donut sorry about that but and then we have the cinnamon donut swirl body lotion again the notes are sweet cinnamon brown sugar and fluffy dough and I'd say the shower gel it instantly has more of the cinnamon smell. It definitely has more of a sugared cinnamon smell and less of the butter and like raspberry smell. So this is definitely more true to the name and the charger definitely has more of that like um, fruity, weird fruity note. So yeah, those are the three collections I picked up from the Fun Care Fair collection. Honestly, I don't think Cotton Candy Cloud should have been part of it just because they bring it out like twice a year and it's excessive, three times a year sometimes. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!